Think about automated cars. Most surveys now say people don't trust a, a robot car. The same thing happened a hundred years ago when automated elevators were introduced. It used to be there was a person in the elevator and when they took them out, people were upset. They didn't want to use it. They felt it was dangerous. And it's really the same situation we have now with automated cars. If we really want to cut greenhouse gases, this is it. This vehicle is automated, electric, shared. This is the vision of the future right here in this vehicle. The transportation system we have now is perhaps the most inefficient, resource-intensive system you could imagine. We are using so much energy. We are using so much land, land for roads, land for parking, and we're producing so much greenhouse gases. What's so exciting now is we see three revolutions happening or about to happen in transportation. We're seeing electrification of vehicles. For sure, within a couple decades, Lyft and Uber have transformed how we move people, or really how we could move people. And it's not carrying one person at a time, it's carrying multiple people. And then in the future, perhaps best of all, we'll take this pooling style of moving people around and marry it with automation. What we've seen with Lyft, ride pooling is one of the most efficient ways of taking cars off the road. In 2014, we introduced Lyft Line, which allows people to choose a Lyft that is gonna be picking up multiple people along the way. And that actually comprises a very large percentage of all of the rides that happen on the Lyft platform in our largest markets now. So that's why uh, cities and transportation researchers are so interested in the potential of ride sharing um, to actually create a more sustainable transportation system. At UC Davis, we've created a major research program in these three revolutions. We bring together mayors, we bring together other kinds of industry leaders to figure out how do we manage this transition. Sacramento is very excited about the potential of autonomous vehicles, especially when it comes to, to ride sharing. One essential way to combat climate change is to reduce the vehicle miles traveled, to build our communities in ways that make it easier to go from home to work, home to where you shop, home to where you play. And autonomous vehicles could play a big part there. With these three revolutions, we're heading towards a future in which we are producing much less greenhouse gases. It will be disruptive, but it could be disruptive in a very good way for many people and many places.